tree can be turned into almost anything, from the newspapers and the books we read to the homes we live in. Today we're going to be meeting the people who make that transformation possible, the wood, pulp and paper labourers. You must be Stuart. Oh, Brian. Hey. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, man. Glad you're here. Me too. I'm Stuart Van Horn, and I am a mill worker here in Smithers. We work here at the plant. There's a variety of things we can do. The sawmill end of it, where the logs are going in and the processing is done. You could be running lo the loader and putting logs on a deck. To the drying of the wood, uh, planing, canter operators, um, bandsaws, edgers. Finally, where I work uh, in the uh, shipping end of it, where we ship it out to our customers. Hey, are you ready to go out and have a look around? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's grab you some protective gear and let's do it. You got it. So this is where it begins for us. Uh, logs come in here. Okay. All right, we process them, get them all stacked up, and then we send them out to the kilns. Okay, great. So let's go have a look. Yeah, for sure. Basically show up to work at uh, five to seven. We need to be on our on our workstation by then. If you're coming on to the afternoon shift, your, your equipment will already be running. You'll actually physically take over from the guy who's there ahead of you. There is always somebody running the equipment. Lots of times it may be just somebody watching, but there still is a person there. The machine may do most of the work, but you still need your man there. Lots of guys really like the inside job. You're in a nice shack, it's quiet, you listen to the radio, watch your screens, look after the buttons, or you can be on the other end of it, like I am, where you're outside. I enjoy being outside. The typical shifts that we have uh, in the planer and in the sawmill are 7 to 3.30. Uh, 3.30 to uh, 12, and then our maintenance crew will come on at 12 o'clock and work 12 till 7. There you go, the guys are going home. The main difference uh, in shift work is uh, you do two weeks of days and then you'll do two weeks of nights. That's a typical production shift. Uh, for me, out at car loading, um, I'm a steady day guy. There are several things you can do that will increase your chances of being hired. Grade 12 is, is a minimum here. They want guys to have grade 12 now and anything after that of course is a bonus uh, depending on you know what you're into. You know, there are trades here, you could be an electrician or, or uh, a millwright or have your schooling and come here with a ticket. I am a level 3 first aid attendant but if you come to work with a uh, level 3 certificate uh, you are, will be moved to the top of the pile when it comes to getting hired. Now there's a lot of different walkways in here, there's a lot of different employees. You've got to be keeping in your mind where you are at all times. You have to be able to listen. You have to be aware of your surroundings because uh, there's so many places where you can get hurt. And it's, you know, we focus a lot on our, on our safety here and being aware of what can cause problems to you. So we've taken it from the tree itself to uh, all cut down and sized up. That's exactly where we're at right now. And then, you know, right here we're at the sorter and things are getting ready to go to the stacker. It's out of the mill here shortly. Some of our customers are very picky on their quality of their wood and we have to watch how we handle it and, and the wrapping and how everything is just right. And so you have to be very careful, look after things and make it very presentable. I do need to be able to read the orders, I have to be able to read the numbers and, and know what's going to fit on the car and stuff like that. The, our orders come in from our sales department and, and then they're handed off to me. And, I look after what goes on the cars and where, where things are going to fit. So this is it, Brian. We got it all on the car. Yeah. Yeah. Brought it through our sawmill, through the planer, into our finished product, and it's off to the customer. So now we got it on the car. We just got to finish tightening her down. Okay. And then it's ready to go. Great. Let's tighten her up. My advice for any young guy who's um, looking to, to get a job here or would like to, to work at the mill, you know, finish school and um, come on down. There's, there's lots of opportunity for you here. It's been a it's been a good career for me. It's uh, I've had a, a great run. I work I work great hours on my job, and uh, I'm seven minutes from work. Uh, right after work, I'm home. I can see my kids. I can do stuff, and and uh, it just made for a good lifestyle. I'm really glad you can make it, Brian. Thanks for showing me around. You betcha. Take care. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.